Hey guys, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Click Digest. In this video, we are going to find out whether the Dell Venue 8 is really worth it. We are going to review the Dell Venue 8 Wi-Fi only model. This is a 16 GB tablet, comes with an 8 inch display. In this video, we'll play some games, run some benchmarks and see whether it is capable of handling those games well. How well it performs, we'll talk about the software, hardware features as well as the build quality will also show you whether it supports external USB OTG cables or pen drives that you can connect and what all it comes with. Let's get started. I'll start with the tablet form factor, build quality and the box content. So let me quickly show you the box contents. There is not much. This tablet comes in the box. This is the standard box and there is a wall charger and a data cable. Nothing except these three things. There is no bundled earphones with this tablet. So the box content is fairly simple. Now let me quickly give you a quick hardware tool. So on front you get an 8 inch display as the name suggests it's an 8 inch tablet. It comes with a front facing camera. There are no hardware buttons. There are three software buttons which are within the display. And when you turn the tablet they also turn. The front facing 2 megapixel camera is right here on the top and there are some hardware buttons which are provided. On the left hand side you get a standard volume rocker key which is finished in silver. This is not metal, this is high quality plastic. Next to it you have a micro USB port which can be used for charging as well as data syncing. Rest of the side is totally clean. On the other side we get a flap which can be used for inserting a micro SD card. This tablet comes with a 16 and 32 GB internal memory options and you can expand the memory by adding a micro SD card. There is also a variant which comes with 3G SIM capability. So the SIM card slot is also usually under this flap only in this placeholder which is provided here. This one is Wi-Fi only. On the bottom you get a large speaker mesh which is provided here. Some stickers with the serial number and branding. On the rear you get a 5 megapixel camera which comes with autofocus but there is no flash here. There is Dell branding down here and Intel inside branding which is provided on the rear. So it is powered by an Intel processor. I'll talk about the processor and specification in a bit. Let me start with the display quality review which matters a lot for a tablet buyer. So the display here looks good and the viewing angles also are fairly acceptable. The display resolution is 1280 by 800 pixels and this display gives a satisfactory user experience. I'll quickly show you a gameplay demo with which you can see the touch screen sensitivity. I'll play three games one by one, the Subway Surf, Frontline Commando, Doomsday Special and Asphalt 8 to give you a fair idea of the kind of performance that it delivers and how well it is when it comes to touch sensitivity as well as color reproduction. As you can see the screen is fairly responsive and the display is rendering well. There is no problem when it comes to graphics rendering. There is Parvier SGX554 MP GPU and I'll show you the benchmarks soon after we play these three games on this Dell Venue 8 tablet. So it is playing pretty well when it comes to Subway Surf. Let me try another game which is the Frontline Commando and see how it performs there. In this game we have to aim and shoot at the enemy and we have to control our player and shoot it using the screen inputs only. It's fairly easy to play. It requires precise control to aim and shoot. So as you can see there is no difficulty in playing this game on the Dell Venue tablet. Now let's move to our next game which is the Asphalt 8 and see how it performs there. Asphalt 8 is fairly heavy when it comes to graphics. The control over the car is also very precise. We can do drifts very easily. We can keep the car on track very easily. It's really fun to play this game on the Dell Venue 8. And here we go for another knockdown. And we finish first. It's a very engaging experience to play Asphalt 8 on the Dell Venue 8. It plays the graphics very well. The rendering is very smooth. 
there is no heating issue or no problem it's fairly thick and does not dissipate too much heat it still gets a bit of warm but it's very satisfactory when it comes to gaming experience on the Dell Venue 8 now let me quickly show you some benchmarks to show you how this tablet stands against the competition so I'll show you the N22 benchmarks first followed by that I'll show you the Nina Mark II on N22 we score around 21,693 which is not a bad score considering that this tablet is just around $150 or 12,000 rupees in India. This is a very good value proposition. It is powered by an Intel processor. It is an Intel Atom dual core 2 GHz processor. It comes with 2 GB RAM and Parvier SGX 554 MP GPU. Talking about the GPU, let me give you a quick score on what we got on Nina Mark II and we got 60.2 frames per second which is like a bullseye. It can handle any sort of graphics and at this price point this is really good value for money if you are considering to buy this tablet mainly for gaming and consuming multimedia content. I'll also show you how it works at internet browsing and I'll also show you how well it plays videos from YouTube. So let me quickly open up our website and show you. As you can see the speed at which it is rendering the web pages is pretty fast and there is not much of a stutter here. It is smooth when it comes to scrolling. So the inbuilt browser is working well and the web browsing experience on the Dell Venue 8 is good. Let me quickly stream a video from YouTube to show you how well it streams videos or plays videos when it comes to YouTube media streaming. So this is a video which is streaming in high definition from our channel. The viewing angles are good and the sound from the speakers which are provided here at the bottom is also very loud and clear. When it comes to video consumption on this tablet, I really find it very impressive and interesting. So it checks the right boxes. It is good at gaming, good at internet browsing, good at video consumption. Now let me show you one very interesting feature which is the USB OTG cable. All you need is just a USB OTG cable like this and connect a pen drive to the other end and connect it to the tablet. Alternatively, you can also purchase a USB OTG pen drive which comes with a smaller end and connects directly to the tablet. So as soon as you plug in, it will say preparing removable media and you can install a file explorer which is a third party explorer like the ES player and as you can see here there is external drive being shown here and you can access the content on the pen drive using this tablet this OTG cable support works seamlessly without any sort of troubles on the Dell Venue 8 talking about the software it comes with the latest Android version Android 4.4.2 KitKat which is a big plus as you get the latest software features on your Android tablet. It comes in the box with the Android KitKat 4.4.2 and you get all the features like the Google Now voice recognition service. Let me quickly give you a demo. What's the weather like? It's 93 degrees with haze in New Delhi. So you can do a lot of stuff using the latest softwares. You can install a lot of softwares. It comes with expandable storage. You can add a micro SD card and expand the storage. It is a good multimedia device when it comes to display quality. The build of the device is also good. It feels sturdy and vivid. Let me also quickly give you a camera quality review of this tablet. So I'll quickly launch the camera. So this is a pretty basic camera app that you get on Android KitKat devices. I can tap here to focus and take pictures quickly. It's pretty fast and it's easy to use and the pictures come out to be of good quality as you can see there is decent amount of sharpness in the pictures it's not the best that we have seen on tablets but still it is not disappointing at the same time it does well when it comes to photography there is also a front facing camera you can quickly switch to front facing camera just by hitting here and it turns to the front facing 2 megapixel camera that you get here which also does decent photography as well as you can also record videos and do video conferencing all you need to do is just hit here and switch the camera so it will use the back camera now you can access the settings here which comes with the location settings picture settings 
white balance etc so you get all the settings which are very easy to control using this ui now coming back to our question whether the dell venue 8 is really worth it i believe at 150 dollars or around 12000 rupees in india the dell venue 8 offers you a lot of features including the latest software and intel processor which runs really fast and also you can do good level of gaming enjoy multimedia do internet browsing and all sort of general stuff that you require from a tablet in this context dell venue 8 gives you a sturdy as well as easy to use tablet which comes with latest software so we give it a thumbs up if you want to purchase this tablet i'm leaving some direct links on your screen as well as in the description section below we hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below for more such videos stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button this is your host Rohit Khurana signing off thanks for watching